2024 Topps Cosmic Chrome is less than two months away. Touted as one of everyone's favorite sets every year. Might not be the case this year. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining why Cosmic Chrome of all sets might be make it or break it for tops. So what's going on, guys? It's Grip and Rip. And before we get into the video, let's plug the giveaway real quick. So at 10,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away hobby packs of the newest product available at that time. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content at hand. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and countless other videos on what has been your favorite moment so far this baseball season. And I will pick the winner once we hit 10,000 subscribers. So there is that. The first thing I do want to talk about is I'm going to be having new merch designs very, very soon. So stay tuned to that. I think you guys are probably going to like this one I've been working on. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to release that. Should be out, I would say, for the next two-ish weeks. Just depends, really. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that if you want to go grab merch. And of course, my other new shirt, which is Make Sports Cards Great Again, um, is also available right now. That one's a really uh, popular one at the moment, so go grab that as well. So now let's get into the video. Let's get into it. So a lot of you guys might be saying, grip and rip, grip and rip. Why are we talking Cosmic Chrome right now, right? Why are we talking Cosmic Chrome? Well, I firmly do believe, and I was sitting there thinking about this tonight. I was watching the Yankees and the Red Sox. I was sitting there thinking about what to talk about for tonight's video, and it hit me, right? It hit me. It's really make it or break it for tops after Cosmic Chrome. Why do I say that? Because strike one... Strike two, strike three, and you are out. What am I referring to? Chrome got increased. Pro debut of all products got increased. I'll throw Finest in there as well. Finest comes out the same day as um, Pro debut, August 7th, by the way. So, uh, what, eight days, nine days from now, by the way? Keep an eye out for that. If you want it, um, we'll talk all more about that next week, of course. Um, but strike three, if they increase the price of Cosmic Chrome, which I'm going to go into a deep dive about in this video, that's it. That is it. The gloves are off in a boxing term. The gloves are completely off. So let's start at square one. What do we know about Cosmic Chrome? Well, from what I can tell you, from what I heard and know from my hobby guy, is that Cosmic Chrome is slated right now to be released in August sometime. My guess, now that we know August 7th is pro debut and finest, I'm going to go on a whim and I'm going to say we're going to get Cosmic Chrome either the second to last or last Wednesday in August. Now, I don't know those dates off the top of my head. I don't have a calendar on me. I don't look at calendars. I mean, I have a calendar on my phone, but I don't have a paper calendar to look at in person right now. Um, so whatever the last or second to last Wednesday is in the month of August is when you're probably going to see Cosmic Chrome. Um, Cosmic Chrome has really been a fan favorite set um, for quite some time. I think it debuted, I believe, in 2022. This is going to be the third year um, they're doing this set. It's a very unique set. I will give them benefit of the doubt. I'll give them credit where credit is due here. Um, pro debut, or not pro debut. Um, I like pro debut as well, but not for $100 a box, I'll tell you that. Um, Cosmic Chrome. Cosmic Chrome is a very unique and interesting product. It's basically like a galactic, like, solar system like space design of some kind i can't really describe it you if you've seen it you know what i'm talking about i'm sure you all seen cosmic chrome before so i really don't have to explain too much what it is but i like it 
Um, 2022's design was really, really good. 2023, if I remember correctly, not so much. There was more, I think, if I recall, some more geometry shapes in there, like circles and squares and triangles and things like that, if I recall correctly. Um, so honestly, last year's design was last year's design was really not that great. Um, hopefully this year we do get a good design. We do not know the design yet. We don't know, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, there has not been a single word, um, inf information wise, um, officially regarding this product so far. Um, so just got to really keep an eye out. You really got to keep an eye out. And then, you know, we'll, I assume, I assume my guess is that we are going to learn official, like official, official information probably within the next two weeks. From the looks of it, there's not going to be pre-orders from the looks of it. Um, again, release date could change though. Release date could change. Um, I was told the August date like a month ago, a lot could change between, you know, then and now and between now and the end of August. So I truly don't know. And with Chrome cards, for whatever reason, Tops has a real hard time producing Chrome cards as of late. Like, look at Platinum Chrome, for example. Platinum Chrome gets delayed by, like, six months now for some reason. Um, I would love to see 2024 Platinum Chrome out in, like, November, by the way. I looked and mapped out the rest of the year, which I do want to make a video about this, maybe tomorrow or, the, like, Wednesday or Thursday or whatever. Um, but the rest of the year, uh, for release date-wise, for tops, there is literally nothing coming out as of right now. Now, that could very well change. It probably will change, but... There is not anything coming out between, or I should say, in, in um, November. So that's pretty interesting. The closest thing we got to November is actually Holiday. Holiday, um, I did hear uh, rumblings about um, yesterday, as a matter of fact. Holiday is slated again for October. Um, sometime, don't know when exactly yet. Um, but I'm going to guess probably next to last week of October is my guess. Um, so that's, that's obviously really good as well. So let's talk price the biggest elephant in the room everybody wants to know what the price is gonna be and if anything and i mean anything if anything is an indication on what this product is gonna look like money wise it's probably gonna be increased by 30 to 50 dollars now I can't pinpoint an exact price, but I'm going to go on a whim and I'm going to say like, I think last year's box was 250 Someone down in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't buy Cosmic Chrome. It's too pricey. I buy singles on the product, but if I'm going to guess the price, I'm going to say 280 to 300 I don't know last year's price, so I can't give you an exact guess, but my guess is between 280 and 300 um, that's just the way things are going now with tops. Everything is literally everything is being increased by like 20 to 30 percent, which is ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. Um, for example, you know, we we have we've documented this so much here. Um, pro debut. Pro debut should not be a hundred dollars a box. That's just it's it's mind boggling to me that they are doing that to such a set where it's really not, you know, the, the greatest set in the world. But again, you get a lot of value. That's the thing. The value. The value is definitely there. Four autographs for $100 compared to last year, 65 There's a difference. There's a, definitely a big difference there. It's just, you know, the, the bullet you're going to have to take, in, in essence, if you want that set. Same thing goes with, with Cosmic Chrome or Chrome or Chrome Update or, you know, Allen and Ginter, which I heard something else about Allen and Ginter as well. I heard Allen and Ginter is very close as well. We'll also most likely, don't know, but most likely see that in September. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I also heard something about that today too, as a matter of fact. So that's, I might make a video on that too in the coming days. But um, a lot of these sets, realistically, just to realistically give you expectations, realistic expectations... Realistically, I think from this point out this year, we are going to see um, price increases with every single product. Um, I don't know about paper base, so like update might be safe. Update might be a hundred dollars a box, but again, you know, a couple years ago those boxes were sixty nine ninety nine. I literally, I kid you not, I literally found an image from twenty nineteen today on my phone. I was scrolling through my old photos. 
I bought a box of 2019 Series 2 on release day for $65 at my local card store. Now those boxes in my same store are $100, which is ridiculous. So update might be safe, might be, but for Chrome Update, Stadium Club, <laughs> Plain Jane Heritage, which, man, if they up the price on that, they are just crazy. Um, Allen and Ginter, Archives. Archives is a very popular set. Don't know anything about that yet, unfortunately. Hopefully soon. Um, but, you know, Bowman Chrome. Realistically, all these different products are probably going to be increased just a little bit, which kind of sucks. Realistically, it very, uh, very much sucks. But let's talk checklist because... If there's any positive thing you can take away from Cosmic Chrome is that the checklist most likely is going to be pretty, really, really solid. I mean, last year they had the update rookies in there. So I'm going to go on a whim and I'm going to say that Cosmic Chrome is most likely going to be like the first real widespread Paul Skeen's rookie card. Um, I say that because, of course, there's Topps Nows. And he, he is in Museum Collection. He is in Museum Collection as a base card. Um, but Museum Collection is a very, like, niche set. It's not like everyone's going out there and buying it. It's like $500 a box. Um, would I buy Paul Skeen's base card from Museum Collection if I see it on eBay for a decent price? Sure, but who knows? I'm willing to guess it's probably going to be like 50 bucks. So probably not. <laughs> probably not. So $50 for a, a thick base card. Because you have to realize with museum collection, those base cards are not like, you know, standard base card, like, you know, thickness. They're thick, like, almost like relic cards. So I don't know if I would even buy that. So um, either way, you know, getting back to the checklist here to really wrap things up. Um... The checklist should be really good. The checklist should be pretty solid. I do expect everyone from everyone from Series 1, 2, and Update to be in that product. Now, if there's autographs of Paul Skeens or not, that is to be determined. I'm willing to guess that it is going to they like there is going to be Paul Skeens autographs. I'm going to take a guess on that. Um, I mean, he's been in the league now since May 11th, so I would like to think that he probably signed a couple things uh, at least for update. Now, if, if he don't have an autograph and update, which I very much think he does, um, that would just be silly, right? But getting back to the topic to wrap this video up, make it or break it, right? Why I called this video make it or break it or something on the lines of that because I really don't know what this title is going to be called yet. Cosmic Chrome is a very popular set. It sold out relatively quickly in years past, pretty pretty quickly. Now, if they make bad changes to the product and increase the price, which I, I mean, you should fully embrace the idea of the price being increased because if you have the mentality, if you have the mentality right now saying, oh, they're not going to increase the price of that, bull freaking shit, they won't. So, truly... If the community is going to not buy Cosmic Chrome for the price that it might be, which I do expect to be around 300 oh, man. Oh, man. As they say, Houston, we got a problem. And I just think it's make it or break it. Like I said, strike one was Chrome, strike two was pro debut and finest, and strike three could be very much... Cosmic Chrome. And if that is the case, if that is the case, I'm telling you right now, be prepared for this. Every single product from this point on for the rest of the year, maybe not paper base update, but every other product other than that will be increased by $20 to $30. Mark my damn freaking words. No doubt about it. Didn't they increase the price of Stadium Club last year? It was 100 the year prior. Now it's 150. I mean, we already got a price increase in January that really nobody talked about except myself. 
I mean, I'm literally, I feel like, you know, it's funny, right? Time to go on a little bit of a story time rant here, right? To wrap this video up, right? It's funny, right? Nobody calls out the price increases on YouTube. At least the people I watch, at least. Well, I, I do watch a lot of people, so... The majority of the people who make sports card videos don't call out the price increases. Why is that? Why is that? Are, are people really complacent? Are people really okay with paying an extra $35 or an extra $70 for a hobby box of Chrome or a hobby box of Pro Debut? No one should be okay with that. So honestly... I'm making a plea to you guys. If any of you watching this video make sports card videos and have a following on YouTube, which I assume some of you guys do, please call out these people. They need to hear it. I can't be the only one making these videos. You know, it, it takes more than one person. I, I'll say I'll take credit for leading the charge, but like... We got to see some more people making these videos. Now, I could be wrong. There could be people out there that I don't watch who make videos about price increases. Hopefully there are, but I don't know if there is. I don't certainly see any. Um, we have to start calling this stuff out. We absolutely, and I encourage everybody, whether you have 100 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, or anywhere in between, 5,000, 200, whatever it may be. Start calling out the price how you see it. And maybe then, maybe then, when people boycott the product, because realistically, this is how it's going to change, right? Everyone says, oh, well, complaining ain't going to change nothing. You, you're correct to that point. You're correct. But at the same time, at the same time, we also have to not bite, so am I going to buy a pro debut? I don't know. I truly don't know. It's tough to say. I have to see the price. Because if I walk into my card store on August 7th and see Hobby Box for $120, theoretically, I'm saying, hell no, not happening. Because that would literally, that would literally be double the price of last year with nothing added into it, which that's the problem. That's the problem right there. It's not so much the fact that they're increasing the price. It's the fact that they're not adding anything into the box to, to counter the blatant increase of price. Like if they added two additional autographs or even, even two relics. If they threw in two paper napkin relics along with the four autographs, a box... Would I be complaining as much as I am? Probably not. But still, would two paper napkins warrant a $35 price increase? No, it would not. So we got to see some new changes here. We got to. It's ridiculous. Same thing with Chrome. If you're going to charge $200 plus for a Chrome hobby box, there better be two autographs in there moving forward. Because guess what? Just a couple years ago, just a couple years ago, those boxes with two autographs were like $250. We're getting there. I'm telling you right now, we are absolutely getting back to that price. It might not be next year. It might not be 2026, but maybe 2027, 2028. We are going to be seeing these boxes and these prices be out of control. Mark my word. And that's the last thing I'm going to say in this video. So thank you for watching and before we get into the pack of overpriced Chrome, maybe two packs, I don't know. I don't know how many we have left. We should be able to squeak out two today. We'll see how the count. But, but, before we get into that, let me tell you about today's sponsor of the channel. So this video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. And we have partnered up to deliver savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below, download the app today, use my promo code GRIP and RIP, that is promo code GRIP and RIP, all one word, to save $20 off of your first purchase. Again, first purchase with code GRIP and RIP, 
all one word. So huge thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring my content. I absolutely love what they do over there. They're really kind to me. They're really great. So you can't really ask for much more, man. They're they're really good there. They treat me like every time I talk to one of them, um, they're really good to me. So love what they do over there. So thank you, SeatGeek. So let's see how many packs I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And today is the 29th. Tomorrow is the 30th, 31st. So we have about... Let me see. Could I get two packs from this video? Let's see. So 29th. I'm counting this out live on video. Don't care. You can skip this if you want. We have 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. So, we can, I think, let me just do this one more time. 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. So, yeah, this would be the last day that I could do two packs. So, here on out, we're down to one pack a day until if I get... If I get um, pro debut, I don't know if I will or not. It's up in the air. It really is up in the air. I, I don't know. I might have to get it because I, I don't know what the next product is after that. So I might have to get a box just because I like I have to. Um, which I mean, at the end of the day, is a business expense to an extent. Um, so I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we have purple. Is this the autograph? Yes, it is. Okay. So we're gonna we're actually gonna leave that right there. We're gonna leave this right here for now. We'll do the second pack. We'll do the second pack first. Hopefully, hopefully, we can end the video off on a banger. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll do this pack first and then we will get to the other pack. So let's see here. First we have Luis Matos. We got Chanel, I think I said his name. Ronald Acuna, of course, unfortunately, is out the rest of the year. Would have been nice to pull that card last year and uh, Brandon and Walter. So let's see what we get, man. Let's see what we get. Here's our autograph. It is an orange border. So let's think of the orange borders first. So Giants, we got, let's see what else. Let me try not to show what it is. All right. Um, Let's see the border. Actually, it's, um, looks to be a blue border. Looks blue, purplish. I hope it's not a Rocky. I hope it's not a Rocky. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe a Yankee. I don't know. It's tough to say what that color is. Looks somewhat blue. I don't know. But let's pull, uh, hopefully, a good rookie. Um, we'll do that. We'll go from the back. Please, this this will make or break the box. This card I pull will absolutely make or break this box. So please, God, just bestow upon me something good for a change. My luck with Chrome has been absolutely awful so far. Pulled this nice Juan Soto parallel though yesterday. I will say that. Pulled this yesterday, so that's pretty cool. But uh, this will make or break the box. Let's see, man. Cubs. Peak Armstrong? Who is that? Oh my God. <sighs> Who in the hell is this? Alexander Canario. Canario. Oh my God, bro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly how you sum up my luck with this product. I have absolutely no idea who this is. And I'm an NL Central guy. I'm a Pirates guy, clearly. Um, and I have absolutely, like, no idea who this is. Apparently, he batted, I think, if I read these stats correctly. Oh, his war. His war is negative. So that's, that's a great indicator. Um, he only played six games last year. It says for the 2023 season. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, his average last year was 294 in, in six games. That's not a great sample size. It's only like six games and like what 20 at bats. So yeah, man. Uh, 
I think we're going to call that an L. I think we're going to call that an L unless any Cubs fans out there let me know and chime in on who that is. But for now, I'm chalking that up as an absolute L. I'm going to fly the L like the Cubs like to do. So, yeah, very, uh, very fitting. But either way, that's all I got for you. That is all I got for you. Terrible way to end the video, but you know what? That's just how my luck is, man. My luck with Chrome has not been good, and that just clearly shows it. Unfortunately, didn't get an autograph that we would like. But, I mean, I, we did pull a nice Juan Soto Blue there. So, eh, I mean, just not really that great. So, either way, guys, I'm getting out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.